Why not question to ask them all? If not you and I, no one will say this. We're hustling and struggling. Nobody care. The situation critical and nobody send. They're watching us still, cause they get the upper hands. And oh, oh, we are dying out smiling. We got no question to ask them. Oh, we are dying out smiling. We got no power to fight them. Oh. Never judge a little brother when me I'm saying reality. If you see what I saw, you believe me. I've said it all. What more can I say? No job opportunity in my community. Secret society. Boys are not smiling. The government are killing us. Deceiving that they're feeding us. Killing them and treating us. Only God go charge me on. I want you to spin the world map, but I want you to stop it. And you look at that nation, and it's Africa. And it's shaped like the question mark. But the thing is, it's Africa that has all the answers. Africa is the motherland. It is where all of God's creation were given life. Don't. Don't be fooled by the white pigmentation. I am. We all are. Black and African by creation! Woo! This is a thank you for feeling this. <laughs> There's help one assigned outside. Are you guys hiring? Oh, yeah, the position's been filled. Whatever, man. Hun, it ain't like that. Like what? All right, hey, hey, I'm gonna need you to reach in that register right now and grab me that money. You little shit! go through 37 hours of labor just to have some crackheads threaten my livelihood and my baby. Make America great again. Yeah! Man. I got my homies, but do you have my money? My $10,000? You know I'm good for it, man. <laughs> I gave you plenty time. I borrowed you when you came out of prison, and your mother was sick and needed medicine, and I'm your friend. Look, I'm a convicted felon. They're not hiring convicted felons out here. Give my money back for Oh, me. come on, man. We're supposed to be cool. You think I'm a bank? I got an idea. I got an idea. I just started my GoFundMe account. I, all these white folks gonna put mad money in there to ship my black ass back to Africa, man. And all of it can go to you. Right? I will donate. See? This is the stupidest idea I ever heard. The stupidest idea he's ever heard. Just give me two weeks and I'll give you money. I promise you. Just two weeks. <laughs> two days, man. Just two days. I'll give it in two days. <laughs> I'll, 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 hold up. One second. One second. Okay, sir. One second, now. Well, I ain't mean one second. Well, I mean, give me a second. I'll give you two days. Two days, you bring me my money, but we have big problem. Big problem. You came by yourself. If I would have whooped your butt. You say something? Uh, nah, man, I ain't say nothing, man. Okay. Uh, fake ass, man. I can't stand these things. You say something? Nothing, man. I ain't say nothing. I think you insult me. 
with your mind. I said you was a nice guy. Vladimir, sorry game. Why you gotta call him back, man? Tell me the truth. I said you need need to wipe that wipe that corny ass smile off your face every time you talk. What smile? That one right there. That is not a smile. You hurt my feelings. You think I like to live with this smile? It is affliction. My mother born me with this. Get out. Send my love to your grams. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Look, what you need to do is get your behind up and go get you a job. I'm about tired of this. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut your food off. Cause you stuck on stupid. And while you're back there, roll me one of them blunts. Gonna give me a heart attack. You know I got the sugar. I need something to calm my nerves down. Yo, Patel, where you going, bro? Oh, I'm going back home, man. Trump is no president, and they're accusing people for voting illegally. I don't want to get deported to Pakistan. But you're Indian. They don't know the difference. If I get deported to Pakistan, I'll be beheaded. I'm not Muslim. I'm Hindu. Bro, the wall is not for Indians. I have to rush. I have to go, bro. Yo, well, at least let me get you a suitcase. You can't go to India with a glass, Oh, man, thanks for that, but I don't need it, bro. What about our Chamakchello party? Oh, see you. Good luck, bro. Chamakchello party. Come on, man. I'll be beheaded. Bye. Yo, can you believe that Patel's going back to India, man? That's crazy, man. All, all my Mexican friends leaving, bro. He's Indian. Oh, man, you know I can't tell the difference. <laughs> this cannot be that ignorant. <laughs> hey, let's roll out, man. You know what I'm saying? Get some help. Why am I putting all this pressure on me to get this job? But I think I got it, bro. Right here, we're going to be Africans. We're going to be Africans? Man, I promise you, go find Pee Wee. That's your friend, Pee Wee. Hey, Biba. Come on, bro. Hey, John. Africa is in dire need of money right now. My brother hasn't ate in four days. He only ate on Thursdays. His inside is now outside. Oh, thank you, my sister. Thank you very much. Africa, we need your money. Nigga, you need to move on. Nigga, get out of here. Uh, can I get a hug? Africa needs to come. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes, we need hug. Oh. Man, we need some help. My Africa Please help. sister. Please help Africa. My sister. On the behalf of Africa. Yes, oh, please. Africa needs you. Oh, what would Jesus do? Africa! Africa! What do you need? Uh, my name is Tony Dragon Love. Dragon Love. Really, man, being. I know you. 
No, no, you're, you're not African. No, I am African. You are not African. You are not African. You are not African. I tell you, no. Hey, 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 what's up? Hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. What is Mount St. Helens? I said, what is Mount St. Helens? Grandma, what what's that is... You sipping on that lean again? Don't worry about what I'm sipping on, boy. What is Mount Olympus? Now he's slamming stuff. He better count up. What is Mount Vesuvius? Give me that. Oh, snap! Give me my yeah, stuff take this. This I don't want this. What the hell is this green stuff? That's Gorilla Light, okay? Gorilla Light? Yes. It's real healthy Chlorophyll. No, hell no. Nah. Chlorophyll Grandma, drink. At your age, you need to be drinking real healthy. I can't don't drink worry that about my damn age. Last time I looked, I was a grown ass woman, and I don't want to drink no chlorophyll drink. Is this going to make my shit green? No, ma. It's not going to make your stuff green. Okay? Uh, how you know? Put that down. Matter of fact, check your blood sugar while you at it. I'm not checking my blood sugar. I'm tired of this, child. Mama, I'm you got to do it every day. I ain't got to do it. Let me tell you what I got to do. I got to stay black, diet, and pay taxes. And I'm gonna figure out how not to die and pay taxes, goddammit. And if I wanted to be prick, I'd go get me some damn Viagra and walk my slap happy ass down to the senior citizen center and let them prick me. How about that, buddy? Can you please check this blood sugar? God check. Damn I it. All right, you check, I'll give you a lean. You know what? You about getting on my damn nerve. I'll check my blood sugar. I will check my blood sugar. Ow. You happy now? 158. I'm 158. Happy. Now, can I have my lean back? No, drink that healthy juice God right there. damn it, I want to slap this upside your black ass head. Gorilla life. Well, I'm telling you, yesterday when I came here, this park looked like... Look, look this hey, there's a white man right there. Hey, wait, that's the owner of that series. There's a white man, that's a rich white man right there. Okay. Well, that's not bad. That's not bad. We got one over here. Listen to me, I swear to you, yesterday when I came here, it looked like Orange County. It was like white people as far as you can see. It looked like a Trump rally. Then where they at now? I don't know. Maybe, maybe they ain't up yet. What do you mean? White folks are the first to get up, man. They jogging at 6 a.m. Why are you wasting my time, man? I could be at home whacking off. And you know he take his whacking off seriously, man. If you don't drain that lizard, you know how he be acting. Why y'all yelling at me? I fought the last park. The lady gave us some money. Shoot, y'all ain't fought nothing. Y'all keep yelling at me. I'm by your own damn park. Sensitive. And then you're always over there yelling at me like it's my fault. And I ain't seen y'all do nothing. Your Highness, we are so pleased to have found you. <laughs> Your Majesty, I am Dr. Zulu Zokoya, diviner and priestess. Pardon our intrusion, Your Majesty, but the king has died, and the oracle demands your presence. <laughs> they got stories with them. These boys are good, man. Wait, 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 look. See I said? We gotta step our game up, man. He got them gladiator boots on. I got the air Jerusalem. Oh, man, listen, man. Obviously, y'all take this a little way too serious than we are. But y'all can have this park. Ain't no white people here anyway. Yeah, four of them all got them butt up shoes. It's killing me, though. Ooh, the second half coming down, nigga. Look at them all! Let me get to the second half. from me. I tell you not to mess with me, but you don't listen, huh? Vladimir, you know what to do. Oh, hey, hello. Are you OK, Your Majesty? Who? Oh. Man, that's those nutcases that keep saying I'm their king. Yeah, I know this one. Yeah, I see her on television. She says she come to America to bring King back to Africa. Take that gold away from my King. If you don't, I will have no other choice but to use divine African force. What are you waiting for? Not a good idea. Shoot them! Kanikangado, sir, I'm not going to kill them. Sir, I'm going to kill them. Tobi them, mommy, kangado. 
Boss! I warned you. What is happening? I warned you. This is ultimate cock blood. Mm -hmm. This is not a time or place for something like this. You may not accept the decision of the Oracle, but it is my place to enforce it. What's this? Ben Kain Wamfo. Ida. Ida. I see you have messed with the spiritual aid of the United States of Africa. And now you are happy about it? It's more different. I heard that before. It's not funny! What he said, he will fucking kill you, bitch, motherfucker. Whoa, you just spoke Russian? Man, you gotta be CIA, because I don't know no black person in the world that speak Russian. The Oracle is divine and can speak any language through the priestess. Would you like them to shoot their... All right, let me think about it for a second. The power of the Oracle must not be toyed with. <laughs> what do you desire, my king? You know what? Let him go. Come. I'll do you a favor. Lannisters, you mean? Wait. Come back. No. Let's go. It's amazing. How the Russians running out here like they ain't know what happened to them, man. You talking about some Lannisters? Game of Thrones. I didn't know y'all watched that in Africa. I thought y'all lived in trees and shit. Oh, yes. Even the American ambassador lives on one of the tallest trees right next to the British ambassador. Oh, even the French and the Chinese, they live on big Iroko trees. I get it, I get it, I get it. No, nah, for real though, man. Like, I said, like, I'm some kind of king or some shit. Like, is a, a nigga a real king? The Oracle never lies, Your Majesty. And that, he just paid that debt like it was nothing. Get that dude $10,000. Man, 5,000 out of it straight, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever you wish, Your Majesty. Oh, shit, in that case, you give me like $10,000, man. Your I got... wish is our command. What? Damn! 10,000, 5,000. Oh, smack, you mind if I hold on to that? Your wish is our command. Damn, <laughs> whoa. Hold up. This ain't no setup, is it? Come on, brothers just don't be handing people a whole bunch of money like that. Where the cameras at? I know there's some cameras here somewhere. Come on, man. I know I'm being punk. Look, if I'm being punk, just come on out right now. Come on, man. Man, this is all right. So look, I'm just going to pay a couple bills. As y'all can see on the cameras, they just handed me this voluntarily. It's all good. I'm the king, I think. Right? All right, we just, you know what? I'm just going to count this out the crib. Just wait for me real quick. I'll be right back. And then I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. Just wait right there. I ain't going nowhere. Let's go get some gas. All right? Make sure the rushes are gone.
tips for us. Oh, boy, that's right. This is... This is fascinating. You realize that this has not been seen since the 1870s? The priestess makes her first appearance in Egypt, 300 BC. She saves the pharaoh and most of the ruling dynasty by getting them out of the country before Alexander the Great can invade it with his armies. She guides them through the Sahara Desert into West Africa. She helps them rebuild the kingdom on the banks of the Niger River. It's enjoy a thousand years of peace and prosperity. Though that's interrupted by the Portuguese and the Spaniards when they invade West Africa. And once again, she appears to save the royal dynasty. She, she leads them from the, the Niger River across the Atlantic Ocean over to Virginia. In 1619, they were the first to establish 12 colonies in the Americas before the pilgrims arrived. 1690. You know what that does to our history? But soon after they do arrive, the pilgrims and explorers, and in this case, she's responsible for saving them from starvation and death because of the harsh winter. That same harsh winter in 1620 in Europe killed tens of thousands of people. She establishes a 13th colony for the pilgrims. She, look at this, she, she drafts a constitution giving equal rights to all citizens of all 13 colonies. Look at this. Manhattan Island becomes the capital of the United Colonies. 1776, she reveals a secret plot to betray her and kill the leaders of the 12 African colonies. She's forbidden, however, to do evil or see evil. She invites all the leaders of all 13 colonies to a dinner. She recognizes that there's someone in the dinner with her that is going to betray her and the 12 colonies. She'll depart after the night. She'll return after 400 years and she'll take a king from amongst their descendants back to Africa to rebuild the kingdom. This is the year that it's going to happen. This is, this is just amazing. Everybody, she wanna know what I do for a living. I'm king! Yeah, baby! I love kings. Me too. <laughs> Sorry, sweet. See, we are the kings. We will move our fists. We will move That's probably the shrooms. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Um, we, um... Boom! We got some situations. Your Majesty. Y'all don't let up, do y'all? A king stands while you sit. On your feet, you have raised commoners in the presence of the king. On your feet! Told y'all I was king. <laughs> they work for me. These boys are good. Straight I told you they was gonna find us, though. Yeah, See, I, right, hey, I told right. them y'all was gonna find us. All this was set up for y'all to find us. Because <laughs> I knew that y'all was the real deal. See what I'm talking about? But how the hell did y'all find us? The Oracle leads, we follow. Damn, I gotta get that. Yeah. I gotta get that. Hey, man, keep your mouth closed, man. This is classified. All right? Top secret stuff. All right, ladies. On behalf of Homeland Security, y'all need to get out. This is some real king stuff we gotta talk about, and y'all can't be here. Can you party later? Yeah, keep your damn mouth closed. All right? All right. This is king shit. King talk. Don't tell nobody, man. Now, for real, how did y'all find me? The Oracle shows us your location, Your Highness. Every time? Every time. You mean even when I'm... Yes. Oh, damn. Uh, about that, Your Majesty. But you know I got my grandma... Not to take. worry. We have already taken care of that. She's the most prestigious adult living with 24-hour nurse care. She sends her regards with many bad words. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's grand. <laughs> All right. But what about my homies, though? You know I can't go nowhere without my homies. Yeah. We come as a package. Ride or die. You might as well kill us. <laughs> Here you go, baby. Let me have another one. Yeah, I'll give you a tip when we get back there, all right? Oh. Oh. All right, you know you got no damn money, yeah. boy. Mm. Buffalo soldier. Eh, 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
in my song, hey man, don't try to sing, cause you're not really a singer. And so let us do that. Hey man, you need to sing. Hey man, you need to sing. You know what, man? What? Give me more. Yo, 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 yo. I like how you're giving me more. I want to be more. I like how you're giving me more. Hey, music is life. I go to give you a night. Making you right. Giving you melody nice. Champion. I'll be your champion. Make sure you cool. Come on, man. You need to go do it. Yeah, Charles. You ain't afraid of nothing, man. You should do it. What do you mean? You ain't going. You come over here. You ain't going to sit on the plane. Get your ass out there. Talk to the people so we make sure that the king's okay. You the strongest one. Hey, Charles, you a G. Man. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You the man. Hey, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to do this, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do this, nigga. Yeah, nigga. I'm going to throw it for my case, nigga. Baby, do it. Gang, nigga. Do it. I'm going to eat his ass. I'm going to eat his ass for sure. Probably make you dance right before they boil you. I, I think it's hot. I think he's hot. Hey, no, they, look, they dancing with him though. Okay, I think we good. Let's see. We'll give it five no, minutes. They, they really dancing with him. I don't him, know. Look like they sneaking and surrounding them to me. <laughs> see what I'm saying? Look at this, man. I want to go out there. Man, he having fun, man. What I we know. doing here? Okay, all right. Man, come on, man. Let's they go. They ate him. They ate him by now. Let's go. One of them that you can make your queen. Hey. So who are those are? Uh, my royal mothers? Oh no, these are the wives of the former king that you now inherit. Nigga, is you crazy? Man, I can't be with no old ass shrimp up woman. No, your majesty. You are to inherit them all and also be a husband, if you get my dream. Man, that shit ain't drifting. Who is that? Uh, oh, no, your, ma it. no, your majesty, your... She is, she is not of royal blood, your oh, majesty. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, your majesty, I'm late. Is that an American accent that I'm hearing? 
Yes. Man, what are you doing out here in this jungle? You call this the jungle? Not like that. I'm just saying. You don't find women this beautiful in Africa. Have you ever been to Africa? Well, you know, I don't get no blacker than me, baby. That's sweet. That berry gets real sweet around this thing. Oh, <laughs> I'll get it back later. Oh, by the way, what's your name? KK, Your Majesty. Oh, KK. I like the sound of that. Me and you gonna be all KK. Where did they find What does he want? The oracle has spoken. We have a king. A king we know nothing about. Besides, he does not have the royal pendant. I have mine. No African king has ever been crowned without one. I move that we wait a couple of weeks to be really sure of what the oracle is saying. The council of chiefs has decided to move your coronation up by two weeks. Man, I knew this was a scam, man. Look, fellas. Your majesty. Can I make you, like you Americans say, a deal? <laughs> yes, a deal. <laughs> now, I'll bet that. Suppose we request the Oracle to convince and prove to you within two weeks. If in two weeks you are not entirely satisfied, then we will pay you handsomely and take you back to America. We need this contract signed ASAP, mate. You have my word. As what? You told us you were next in line for the throne. I am. Who is this clan? Yes, what are you doing? He was approached by Dr. Zulu Sequoia, a neurosurgeon who abandoned her practice after being summoned by the Oracle to become a high priestess. She told him that he was chosen to be the new king. So, it's a con woman and some idiot from Compton. No American is going to take my place. Goody! What exactly does that mean? Just give me some days and I'll make sure there's a reason why we can't have that homie as our king. We've given you a bucket load of money. Yeah, and you'd be in a terrible bind. Terrible bind. If we were to suddenly ask for it all back. I need this more than you, Mr. Wanka. Relax. I won't let you down. I'll take care of all of you. It's Wanka. Wanka. Like Ale, Monge, Porte, you Fouke. Everything we think we know about history has been an elaborate cover up. These documents go all the way back to ancient Egypt. 300 BC, when this priestess mysteriously appeared, she saved the royal dynasty from Alexander the Great's invasion. She took them through the Libyan desert to West Africa, or what we know as Timbuktu. And she helps the royal dynasty rebuild their kingdom on the Niger River. And for about a thousand years, there's peace and prosperity until the Portuguese and the Spaniards invade. Again, she mysteriously appears, and she takes them through the Niger River, across the Atlantic Ocean to Virginia, all before we thought Africans first arrived. So this is 1619. The priestess helps the royal dynasty establish 12 colonies, first in Virginia, and again, there's peace and prosperity until the Europeans are there. And with the arrival of the Europeans, the priestess helps them establish a 13th colony, specifically for pilgrims. And she helps them get through that winter of 1620. She also helps them draft the constitution, granting equal rights to all the citizens of these colonies. They establish Manhattan Island as the capital of these United Colonies. And again, there's peace and prosperity until 1776. The founding fathers plot to kill and betray the priestess. And she learns about this plot, so she hosts this dinner with the 12 leaders of the African colonies and the 13th colony of Europeans. And it's there at this feast that she lets them know that she knows that someone here will betray her like Judas and Jesus. And she explains that because she can't see or hear evil, that she will be leaving. But she also prophesies that she'll return after 400 years to take back an African king back to the homeland to rebuild the kingdom. The next night, the American revolutionaries start a great fire. 
and they kill the African leaders. They take over the 13 colonies. They enslave the Africans and they strip them of all of their rights. And fortunately, it's then that a new government is organized and call themselves the Society of Friends. And they continue to spread the prophecy of the priestess. They oppose the slavery of these Africans that's building in the newly established American colonies. They commission a marble sculpture of the priestess and they write the prophecy on it. Now, flash forward to the American Civil War, 1861. They give this statue to President Lincoln and it's because of this statue that he signs the Emancipation Proclamation, abolishing slavery, essentially ending the Civil War. But of course, as we know, Lincoln's assassinated. And the new president, Andrew Johnson, signs an executive order to keep all information on the priestess as classified and secret. He hides a statue in the Metropolitan Museum, but a small faction of the Republicans that control Congress also happen to be made up of members of the Society of Friends. They impeach Andrew Johnson. And flash forward all the way to 2020. The priestess has returned to fulfill her prophecy 400 years later. And she's come to take back an African king to rebuild the kingdom. Marcus Garvey once said, if you have no confidence in self, then you're twice defeated in the race of life. You try to acknowledge to me. And it's a slave's mentality, and we must emancipate ourselves from it. Bob Marley. Why do you hate me so much? I don't hate you. I hate the system. What system? The system that forces you on us as our king. The system that decides who's pure and who isn't. If it was up to you, would I be here? I'm gonna sleep now, Your Majesty. Have done it. No, she cannot. Please, let's talk outside. She is not royalty. <laughs> royalty? All of a sudden it matters? I'm royalty now? <laughs> you used to be power, bro. I'm power now. I've been here all this time. What was that about? like this. The kind that wants a tan. Not the point. Okay, okay, what is it with Africans in bikinis? I've seen National Geographic. You guys are okay with bare titties hanging everywhere, but that a bikini. That is different. You are seeing Watusis and Pygmies in the middle of the jungle. Do you go shopping in Africa and go, oh, look, 
There are some titties. No, you do not. Maybe you would be in a better mood if we did. Your daughter will stand trial for her insolence, and that is that. You know what? Maybe we should give him a show. Let's go. Oh, what well, No, no, I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. We don't have to take this matter by far. What we want is to keep them apart. If we make punishment an issue, it will become an issue. I am convinced the young lady has gotten the message. To the contrary, she must be punished. She is but a little girl. A little girl with the mind of an old woman. Do not underestimate her. Welcome to the proceedings of the royal court, where matters regarding the king, his family, and estate are handled exclusively. Rise on your feet! Yeah, rise on your feet! Uh, oh, damn! Oh. I don't mean to really crash the party and all that, but. No, no, have a seat. You can stay down. What's up, shorty? Can you, can you call a little kiss on the cheek real quick? Don't worry, we got plenty of time for all that. Your shorty is on trial. She called you a gone totting drug dealing low life from America. She did nothing wrong. Everything she said is true. Let her be. So you're free to go. Go ahead. What did you do, man? I, I stole a tuba. My ailing mother and I have had nothing to eat for three days. This man has done nothing wrong. He's just hungry. Immoral acts? What did you do? I featured in a music video that I... I gave a guy a hawk that wasn't even promising, and... They said I should be punished. Yeah. We got no question to ask them all. If not you and I, no one will say this with hustling and struggling. Nobody care. The situation critical and nobody send. They're watching us still, cause they get the upper hands. And oh, oh, we are dying out smiling. We got no question to ask them. No question to ask. Oh, we are dying out smiling. We got no power to fight them. Oh, eh. We got no power to fight them. I got no way to go. No lie, it's a No balloon, we no kitchen. No lie, no kitchen. No lie, no kitchen. No lie, no kitchen. I need you to teach me the ways of the deal. I'm just a girl, Your Majesty, the Chiefs. Just help me to see it the way you see it. Your Majesty. You don't even have to call me Majesty. Listen, I understand that you may not agree that I'm your king, but it's fine. But you are king. You've shown us all today. Listen, I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> Listen, this is my kingdom. It cannot be boring. It gotta be popping. Yeah! Come on, man. Let's get this party started. Yeah! Hey, DJ. 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 Hey, Okay, 
as we can strike deals with them that do not put us in an unfavorable position, then we are good. All right, give me, give me one second. Yeah. Give me one second, yeah, like second. Yo, man, what's, what's up, us? man? I mean, we came over here for a purpose, and now it seems like your purpose ain't our purpose. Yeah, every time we see you, bro, you either with that girl or with these chiefs or whatever. Come on, man, y'all gotta understand me, man. I'm trying to make good decisions for the people here. Nigga, who are you, Marcus yeah. ass Marcus? Come on, no, nigga, listen. this is fake, you no, know this. Don't say that word no more, man. We don't use words like niggas out here, man. Who are you, man? I'm the same person. I ain't changed. Nigga, you changed. Come on, man. You ain't the same, bro. So let me ask you. So if we decide to partner up with these oil companies, they're giving us a lot of money for every man, woman, and child? Yes, Your Majesty, but I was hoping we could develop the land. What's more important, skyscrapers and pavements? Or food and water for the people? Food and water for the people. Did you know that $25 billion can eradicate poverty? Let's say we take every drone and every bomb and convert it into fish and bread for the people. Where's Kiki? Your Majesty, that is absurd to have a girl in meetings about affairs of state. How do you expect our youth to grow into development our own country if we don't teach them now? It's only in Africa where a president can be in office 50 years. Only in Africa. Hugo On behalf of the king, we welcome you to our land. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Wanker. Uh, thank you. It's, uh, it's a Van Kay. It's uh, actually Dutch. <clears throat> but apart from that, uh, myself and Douglas completely agree that our notion here today is that everything that we put forward and suggest is for the benefit of the people of this great nation and its chiefs. <laughs> Thank you. Your majesty, if you ask me, I'll say do this. With my position, I'll support however I can. I do not need anything. It's OK. I don't want anything from them. Why haven't you pointed out how the people will benefit directly? How about the land that can no longer be farmed on, or the waters that no longer can harbor fish due to toxic waste from the oil? Your majesty. It's Wanke. She has a great point. 
Well, we would seriously give some consideration to implementing some of these changes. But I think that what we need is a primary conciliation before we make secondary concessions. And I'd just like to point out that you and all of your council would be considered founder members, which entitles you to a golden handshake, as it were. Sort of what they used to call dash. You see, how we look at it is that if we look after the chiefs, there's a sort of trickle-down effect. The last night I actually took a look at that proposal you gave me. <laughs> you know, I'll be reading sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But that looked exactly like the same proposal that y'all just offered my neighbor and country. And you know what's so funny? I studied that same exact contract when I was in college. It's a joint venture, right? That, that's right, Your Majesty. Y'all get 45%. We get 55%. Sounds really good, but the only problem with that is y'all 45% is on the gross, and ours is on the net. What's up with that? The exploration of exploitation has to be born. By who? By us. If y'all bearing all the costs, why are y'all deducting before y'all give us our share? Well, it's, it's sort of half of the course. Uh, we wouldn't share the profits until we've paid for costings. It's, it's like um, um, operational expenses. How do we know what you're spending is operational cost? You actually came here in a private jet. And I know you got kids. I mean, tuitions ain't cheap. <laughs> God damn, with that suit? I see you know those before, that's like 5,000 plus. Who's to say that you won't take those luxuries and make them a part of your operational costs? Can I just say, Your Majesty, that there will be a certain amount of operational expenses eligible for yourself and all of your chiefs prior to us assessing whether we go into profit. Sounds like a bribe. Uh, sort of par for the course. Yeah, we're fair dinkum, Your Majesty. How about I just hire you guys for exploration? Because there's a lot of oil companies out here that'll be very, very glad to be paid just for taking on the bid, like the Chinese. Oh, the Chinese. All right, you two. Tell me exactly what the heck is going on. Well, Mr. Vice President, let's start first. Sabia in classic Greek means prophetess or priestess. Now, in Greek mythology, it was said that a priestess saved the pharaoh of Egypt, along with a substantial portion of the ruling dynasty when Alexander the Great's armies invaded Egypt. And she did this by leading them across the Sahara to the forested areas of West Africa. What does this have to do with U.S. national security? Huh? Well, sir, it doesn't. In a way, it does. So according to this prophecy, the mythology is that the Oracle has been to the US before, uh, to the colony of Virginia, before this country was founded. Now, the Oracle is a divine spirit who guides through the priestess. They're one and the same. And the priestess, in 1619, led the royal family out of West Africa, across the Niger River, across the Atlantic Ocean, and to the colony of Virginia in order to escape the invasion of West Africa by the Portuguese and Spanish during the slave riots. Greece, Africa, Virginia, fake news. That's what I'm getting. This sounds like other stories, fairy tales. You know what I need from you two? I need proof. Where's the proof? All right, Mr. Vice President, let's start here, a little closer to home. The Society of Friends, that was the beginning of the abolitionist movement here in the United States. Now, they were founded in 1776 in reaction to when the oracle and the prophecy was omitted from the draft of the American Constitution. Now, the same Society of Friends, several decades later, they commission a statue of Sibylla. And when it's finished, they ship it to Washington, D.C., and they give it to President Lincoln as a gift sparked the Emancipation Proclamation, and subsequently the Civil War. And after the assassination of President Lincoln, President Johnson sent the sculpture to New York and signed an executive order to classify all documents and records of the Oracle and the Priestess. 
as well as the prophecy. Those records have been sealed since 1870. Look, I can't take this fairy tale to the president. Okay, I need evidence. I need concrete proof. Where is the proof? The proof is in the base of the statue. In the marble is chiseled Sibelius' prophecy. Anything else? What was the prophecy? Hmm? Prophecy was that she would return in 400 years. And when was this 400 years? This year, sir. The year 2020. Well, I need to see this prophecy for myself. I'm not going to take anything to the president. It's not concrete. And if you say that it's in marble, I want to see it in marble. Where is it again? We understand that the statue is in the basement of the Metropolitan Museum in New York. All right. Well, that's where I'll be. I'm going to be there in an hour. Thank you. Nigga crazy. I think he really think his kingdom came. <laughs> Acting like he really mark ass Garvey. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, this nigga. I mean, he a fool, man. Come on, we came out here to have a good time, and this fool wanna wanna rule the kingdom. Right? Shit, got giraffes and shit. We know your real name, Sebastian. Your name ain't no damn Akon. Ash, yeah, Sebastian. Yeah. <laughs> you got these motherfuckers, fool. You ain't got us, fool. Tell your guards that. Let's get out here before the guards come. Hey, 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 hey. Oh shit, let's I go. Got you. Shh, put that shit up, man. Put it out. Is it good? Oh, it's better than good, mate. You're not gonna believe this. <laughs> well, well. Huh. Straight A student, scholarship all the way to postgrad at UCLA. Goldman Sachs. Until he went to prison. After he got out, no one would hire an ex-con, so he resorted to this. Name Sebastian. Why? How does he come up with Acon? Wanker. It's wanky. No, no, I mean this prick. No, just, just look at him. Well. It's not him. He's pretending to be someone else. All we need to do is threaten to expose his scam. If the locals found out the truth, they'd probably eat him. Phone that horsehair-waving buffoon, Chief What's-His-Name, and tell him we're about to make him a king. I'm on it. Wanker! Hey! Tossa! for being a drug dealer. I am not a drug dealer, OK? I had four joints that I was holding for friends at a party. For four joints? As delicate as those little fingers. But listen, that's beside the point. Your Majesty, this is important. Yo. My nigga. My nigga, I need a holler. Yo, what I tell you about that word, man? Why are you still using it? Come on, man. Your Majesty. I need to talk to you. All right, well, talk to me. Tell me what you got to tell me. I can't. What do you mean you can't? Of course you can't. I just said to tell me what I... Dude, I'm just tired of hiding shit. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What's this, man? I just saw them. And they asked me to confirm all this, and I couldn't lie. Your Majesty. Later, man. Your Majesty. Later! Just, just leave me for a minute. Leave! Majesty, Majesty, your highness, King, King, 
Look. King Sebastian, isn't Look. it? Look. Isn't that I, I, ironic? I can explain. He was the Roman saint bludgeoned to death in the Senate in front of his own emperor. That's apt, isn't it? Now, I'm sure you can explain. I'm all ears. So is the population and half of the UN. Now, we have adjusted our offer, as you requested. It now includes a first-class plane ticket, a passport, and a very generous compensation package upon signature. Now, we withhold this information for 24 hours, by which time you will be a millionaire out of jail and still in one piece, leaving us to crack on. Pleasure doing business with you. Somewhere. We ain't gotta watch our back. We ain't gotta hustle. These people accepted us as family, bro. What are you talking about? You're not even the real king. I just can't do it. You see? See, Pee Wee has some damn sense. That's why he got the hell up out of here. I am your only friend. I'm all you have left here, bro, it's right here. Let's get the money and let's leave. I just can't. They're gonna kill you, man. And I ain't gonna be here when they do. They offered me a plane ticket and some cash. I'ma take it. <laughs> I'm gone. Sebastian. He's right, you know. They'll kill you in the room if you say anything. They'll tear you apart. These people are animals. This ain't the ghetto. This is the jungle. Mr. President, every bit of information I come across points to the Oracle being real and very powerful. It's an entity who works through a divine and chosen priestess. 2,000 years ago, she saved the Pharaoh and the ruling dynasty from the destruction of the armies of Alexander the Great. And for over a 1,000 years, they lived in peace and prosperity on the banks of the Niger River until about 1619 when the Portuguese and Spanish invaded Western Africa. It was at this time, during this invasion, that the Oracle saved the royal family by sending them across the Atlantic Ocean to Virginia. Do you really believe this, Malcolm? Um, yes, sir. It's written in stone at the Metropolitan Museum. I've seen it with my own eyes. I believe it's as if the Oracle has revealed this information to us and that we never would have known otherwise. It's sort of like the uh, story of Joseph in the Bible. So. so what would you advise I do? Well, about this situation, I'd say one thing. It's an election here, sir. <clears throat> this could be very helpful politically. It's in our best interest to protect Sebastian, help him rebuild Africa as a way of reparations for 400 years of slavery and oppression in America. And I believe with this effort, this will help the African-American vote to go back to the Republican Party. Mr. President, history would remember you as the man who made Africa great again. I mean, do you understand that, sir? You will do the one thing that nobody has ever done in the history of the world, made Africa a whole sovereign nation and given it its own independence from white European influence. What's so great about the Sally Hunger guy? Why do they call him great? He's a, a cop. I think he's Alexander the liar. Yes, sir. He never met the priestess in the Libyan desert. I'm the chosen one. The priestess returns during my presidency. Yes, sir. I'll be the greatest president in the history of the world. Europe's been sucking the breast of Africa for far too long. 400 years is long enough. We're cutting off their aid and a few other parts, if you get my drift. <laughs> I told the European leaders at the NATO meeting, especially the French president, the US will no longer spend taxpayer money protecting their interests in Africa anymore. I'll withdraw all US troops from Africa. You know what? 
I never liked President George Washington. Some third-rate historians claim that he's the richest president of all time. Well, I'm here to tell you that he's not. I'm the richest president of all time. George Washington had plantations. He was a slave owner, and he was racist. He didn't like uh, that other fellow either, Jefferson, the one that had sex with all the black people. Yeah. He really loved President Abraham Lincoln. He freed the slaves and won the war, and I love winners. That was a great win for the United States, the Civil War. I love his ad. I never liked President Andrew Johnson. Sleazy, greasy Johnson's what I like to call him. I bet he had something to do with the assassination of President Lincoln. My foundation has donated so much to the Metropolitan Museum. Can, you, can I see your pictures? Yeah, oh yeah. You have a picture of the priestess. <clears throat> She's pretty hot. When do I get to meet her? Very soon. This is her now. 2020. I don't know what she uses, maybe a lot of cocoa butter. Mm. There's another one right here, the statue of her, the Metropolitan Museum. She's not wearing a bra. I'm sorry, sir. I shall be back in 400 years to choose a king. These are the maps of her travels, leading them from the area of Egypt down to the Niger River. Did you draw this? I did, actually. And here's a map of Africa. We get Sebastian to unite all these nations here. Mm. When you do that, sir, you will be the greatest man in history. I'll be the greatest president of all time. Of all time, sir. You will be the one man who made Africa great again. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I, 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 what do you call one of them? Your Holiness, I don't think that we've actually been in introduced. I know who you are, Mr. Wanker. Uh, it's Bank here. Um, wow. <laughs> it seems I underestimated His Majesty, and I may have underestimated his people. So I suppose what I'm asking you for is, uh, would you furnish me with some advice? Perhaps you could try to understand his people. Ever heard of emotional intelligence? Bye, Mr. Wanker. Thank you. I um, understand the people. Look that up. Uh, hello, Your Majesty. I am uh, Vice President Malcolm Youngblood. I am honored to call you on behalf of the President of the United States. He wishes to congratulate you. Uh, Mr. President is so proud as of the entire nation that a American citizen was chosen to become king. And Your Majesty, on a personal note, I just wanted to say this is uh, the happiest day of my life. How you day? How? How you day? Yeah. Understand the people. How you day? Fellow Americans, as you may all be aware, the news of the arrival of the Oracle to our nation has been on all major news and social media. I've just received a briefing from the National Security Council that it is indeed true that an American citizen has been chosen by the Oracle to be the new king in the Kingdom of Africa. I have spoken with His Majesty the King, and I have told him how proud I am, as is the entire nation, to have an American king. Tonight, I signed the executive order that authorizes Vice President Youngblood to lead a White House delegation along with congressional leaders to Africa for the coronation of the new king. I have also put forth an executive bill to Congress called the African Renaissance 
and Reparation Act, requesting Congress to gift $1 trillion to the American king. This will be used to protect and rebuild Africa as a form of reparations for 400 years of slavery. May God bless the United States of America and make Africa great again. Ain't nobody feeling the pain that I pass as I hustle for Grammy Award. No matter 